last day of May and the weather is shit. I've been inside all day a bit bored, so myself and Westy, we're gonna go to a park near our house and just, 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 just. But does he really wanna, but can't stand a see me So I thought I'd make today's video, seeing as we're in Winton Park, about childhood. So that looks like the worst play area ever, doesn't it? It's the rope. <sighs> I think we know what the rope's for. There's one right behind me. Shit. Oh, the Nazis are everywhere. Okay, Westy, I know my answer. What age, or was there a specific point in your life where you, where it really hit home, you were like, my childhood's gone? Was there one thing that happened? Do you want me to tell you mine? Go on. It was when I realised I was too old to play manhunt in the park. Yes. Because there becomes a time where you're a kid running around, just playing manhunt, and then overnight, you're an adult running around in a park with little kids around. It looks a bit weird when you're 21 running about with 14 year olds. Yeah, well we wouldn't be playing with 14 year olds, we'd all be 21 yeah, hopefully, true. not just, oh kids, want a game? Noza, there for you. Noza loves a duck. Can you remember when you used to knock round for someone? Are oh, you not gonna ask? I don't want to knock, I don't want to knock. Why was knocking on a door such a big problem? You knock, I'll ask. Thinking back on it now, I'd take knocking over asking every single day of the week. That's why you always said it. <laughs> oh, did I say it, did I? <laughs> I was crafty even back then. Let's go in the woods. Oh, so it's muddy, there's stinging nettles. It's pretty grim, to be honest. It's pretty grim. If you don't like hearing about dead animals, skip the video a bit. Or grow up, because you're, <laughs> you're gonna die one day as well, so. You're so morbid. <laughs> this weather reflects you perfectly. <laughs> I'm so impressionable, that's what it is. We was down here once. Were you, what, was you there? I wasn't here, no. Oh, and um, just here, just there in the water, we saw a dead staffy dog that like, this is grim. His body was like open up, like you could see its rib cage. Had to call the RSPCA. I mean, I was a bit late. Well, I found a staffy dog, is it all right? Well, I mean, not really. And then they came out and I think they fished it out. It is most probably a drug mule. Yeah, it was like the talk to Frank dog. Yeah. Pablo, the drugs mule. <laughs> we could do a video about childhood and we're talking, <laughs> we're talking about a drugs mule. In the... That was our childhood. Yeah. That was Mile Cross. Let's delve deeper into the woods. I don't know, I don't think you were there, but down here is the first time I ever smoked weed. Is it? Yeah. Let's go. I genuinely thought I was going to do a nice arty video today, a nice whimsical throwback to childhood anecdotes. And so far we're talking about a drugs mule, and I'm now about to tell you about when I first smoked weed. Class B now. Weed's class B now, isn't it? Yeah, that's weird. That is mental. Here we go. Right here on this log. Is the log still there? Well, I don't know where it'd go, but... So I've actually spoken about this on my main channel before, but this is where I first ever smoked weed. As I said before, it's not really for me. I didn't ever pick it up and run with it. I was sitting in a circle like that. Zach Woodbine was there and we were passing a bong around. I didn't even know what you did. I didn't even know what a bong was. You put your lips on the outside. Huh? You put your lips on the outside. You know what you do. What, what do you mean? You know when you do a bong, some people put their lips on the outside and they first put it on the inside. Oh, probably. I think I've never put my lips on the inside. <laughs> Shit. Is that amateur? Yeah. Oh. Ah! I'm worried that I'm going to stand on like a heroin needle and get AIDS or something. Oh. You've got to question the location you're in when you're worried about standing on <laughs> heroin needles. I mean. I don't think Zoella's ever been in that position. Oh, this is like Takeshi's castle. Oh, look at this. So the mission, as we know it, go from A to B without falling in. Dun 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 I made it 
Dad, I completed Takeshi's castle. So did you. There's a waterfall here. Look. Oh, what are them bubbles? I don't know what's making them bubbles, but I don't think I want to know. So many bubbles. Maybe I left my bong. <laughs> do bong have bubbles? I don't know. Yeah, they do. Do they? Oh, good joke. Oh, no, not really. Ah, uh, Westy. Cutted. No dogs. You're a Westy. I fucking made that joke. <laughs> Now we're in the kids' park and there's no kids around, so we're allowed to film. So this, play! Hey, hey, we're the monkeys! Skid? Remember Skidden? That's disappointing, I've got to be honest. It's a slide, but what's in here? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh he's really cute. Let me... Can I, can I pet you? There we go. Here's a train. Choo choo, Hogwarts. Are you getting on the train? Where are you going to take us? The You're the driver, of course you fucking are, mate. You're a man that knows where he's going in life. I'm not, I make YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, it started. Oh, it's oh, gone. It's gone. Not too hard. You would have never said that as a kid. This is the moment where you lose your childhood. That's the answer to that question. What's your rate? I know. So I'm 23 and Westy's 23 as well. So that means our childhood is long gone. I think it's nice sometimes to go back to places where you enjoyed a lot of your days when you was a kid, where you spent a lot of hours as a kid growing up. It's nice to go back and relive those memories. I don't think it's actually depressing, yeah. do you? Well, there was a realisation that it wasn't as good as you thought it was. Your memories are better than it actually is. But I think if your memories are great, then that's what it was. I don't think, do you know what I mean? I think if that's your memory of it, that's what it was. If, the, if you enjoyed it to that level, just looking back on it now and not enjoying it doesn't mean you didn't enjoy it at the time. No, I, yeah, I guess. We just enjoy different things. I don't know if there's so much yeah. more now. No, there is, there is more. What, what yeah. is there now? So many different places things to experience because literally when you're younger you'd play with people go down the park go to school that's pretty much it yeah but now like the world's our oyster so you can travel when you want you can go where you want do what you want you know more you know more i'm not always sure that's a good thing learning more is not always a good thing because then you start learning about stuff like cancer and isis and yeah, you don't drugs want to be, mules be ignorant all your life, you know? You don't want to be ignorant all your life, but I think I don't think there was ever a point in my life where I thought I really want to see a staffy opened up full of drugs. 